Hey up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all staying inside and looking after yourself while the whole world goes mad. So today's video is going to be my greatest ever new town team from 1908 to 1983. I've already done South Sydney, Eastern Suburbs, North Sydney, Parramatta, Belmeen, Western Suburbs and tonight's new town. Now uh, from a few YouTubers and especially in a teen house, they've called me old fashioned. Well, I'm going to be looking really old fashioned by the end of this video because I'm going to be talking about Newtown. If you don't know who Newtown are, if you're new to rugby league, if you're not that really good with your trivia or your history, Newtown are a foundation club of the New South Wales Rugby League founded in 1908. They played in the New South Wales Rugby League competition from 1908 to 1983. They won three premierships in 1910, 1933 and 1943. They were voted out of the New South Wales Rugby League at the end of 1983. Due to financial pressures, Western Suburbs were also kicked out in 1983. But Western Suburbs had the resources and the funds to fight the challenge and they successfully were reinstated for the 1984 season. Newtown then played in the Metropolitan Cup for a number of years in the 1990s where they won four premierships there. And they currently play in the New South Wales Cup competition which is the second tier reserve grade competition. They're quite good in that competition, they've won two premierships in the last 10 year and played in a couple of other grand finals. Newtown hold a special place in my art. I lived in the area, well I lived in Newtown for seven years. I used to go to a lot of matches at Henson Park. Great club, great history. So tonight we're going to go in and do their best ever 17. So I'm just going to get my list here. Now let's start with the fullback. So at fullback, I've chosen Gordon Clifford. He played for Newtown in the 1950s. He finished as the club's second highest ever point scorer. And he played in the 1954 and 1955 grand final losses to South Sydney. So he gets me spot at fullback. On the left wing, Kevin Considine. Or Considine, I'm not too sure how you see it. He played in the same time period. He played 138 matches and scored 87 tries on the left wing. He formed a great wing partnership with Ray Preston. They basically scored for fun. So we get to be spot for the left wing. Left centre, I've gone for Dick Poole. He played 133 matches during the same era and scored 51 tries. He also represented New South Wales in Australia and he was one of the highly reading players of the 1950s so we get to be spot for left centre at right centre i've gone for brian moore or by his nickname chicka so chicka moore played 173 matches for newtown and scored 90 tries in the 1960s and 1970s he also represented new south wales in australia he was also the last head coach of newtown when they were in the premiership and he coached them in their final ever game in 1983, so he gets me spot for right centre. On the right wing, I've chosen Ray Preston. Ray Preston played 115 games for Newtown and scored 107 tries. He also scored 34 tries in the 1955 season, where Newtown won the minor premiership but lost the grand final to South. Ray Preston was a, a freakish winger, always knew how to fi uh, find the try line from what I've just said and he gets me spot for right wing. In the 5-8th position I've gone for Keith Ellis. Keith Ellis played for the club in the 1920s and 30s, he played 10 years of first grade rugby league in that area and he captained the Newtown club to the 1933 grand final win over St George. So we get to be spot at 5 eighths. At halfback, I've chosen Keith Froome. Keith Froome played for the club in the 1940s and 1950s. He missed out on playing in the 1943 Grand Final. 
but he represented state and country and he captained Australia in the late 1940s. At prop, at the, well the first prop I've chosen is Frank Bumper Farrell. Bumper was his nickname. Frank Farrell, I think from what I've read, is one of the toughest players to ever have played rugby league. He played a, a club record 204 matches. He capped the... Um, he captained the club to the 1943 Grand Final victory over North Sydney. Some of the stuff that I've, I've read that he's done on the field, if he, if, he, if he played now, if he played in the NRL now, he'd be he'd make John Opawati and some of these other players look like fucking choir boys. He used to stomp on people's hands, used to try to gouge people's eyes out. He allegedly bit one of, one of the St George's players' ears off in a scrum and he nearly got suspended for a very very long amount of time but he managed to fight the charge and it was never proven that he bit the other person's ear off i've uh, i've seen some interviews with some north sydney players when they were still alive and they said that frank farrell when they're in the tunnel he used to see when i go out in the field i'm going to break both your legs and i'm going to just fucking crush you he was a he was a tough player after after he retired, he ended up becoming a police officer in Sydney, and he died about thirty or forty years ago. He was only about sixty eight when he died, but he was a highly uh, respected policeman in the Sydney Police Force. The other prop I've gone for Paddy McHugh. He played for the club in the Foundation days. He won the nineteen ten Grand Final with South uh, with. With Newtown as they beat South Sydney, they actually drew with South Sydney in the grand final. But because there was no extra time, and because Newtown finishes minor premiers, Newtown were given the premiership. Uh, Paddy McHugh also represented Australia in rugby union as well, so we represented both codes uh, at the highest level. So we get to be spot for the other prop. At hooker, I've gone for Frank Johnson. He played 118 matches for the club. Um, he was one of the longest saving hookers at the, that the club had, so we get to be spot for the hooker. At second row, well, the first second rower, I've gone for Herb Narvo. He won the 1943 Premiership with the club. He didn't play too many games for Newtown because he played for the club during the Second World War, and he was also a, a, a saving. Um, he was a serviceman in the Australian Air Force, I believe. So he didn't get to play as much rugby league as he as he could have done. But he was voted as one of the finest players of the 20th century. And he also captain coach St George to a grand to a grand final against Belmaine in the 1940s as well. So we get three spot. The other second rower goes to Felix Ryan. He played 126 matches for the club in the early days in the 1910s, 1920s. Um, so we get to be spot for the other second rower. At lock, I've gone for Charles Chicka Keel. Charles Keel played for the club in the 1940s. He won the 1943 Grand Final with Newtown. So we get to be spot at lock. On the bench, the first player on the bench, I've chosen Phil Sigsworth. Phil Sigsworth played for the club in the late 70s and the early 80s. He was a fullback, very talented. He played in the 1981 Grand Final loss to Parramatta, and then after he left Newtown, he had a he had a career with Manly, Canterbury, and Belmaine. So we get to be spot for the first bench spot. The second bench spot goes to Sid Goodwin. Sid Goodwin's actually on the greatest ever Belmaine team of all time. If you check that video out. Sid Goodwin came to the club after he played with Belmain. He played 41 matches and scored 42 tries out on the wing. And he was also part of the 1943 Grand Final team. And he played in the 1944 Grand Final loss against his former club, Belmain. So he gets to be spot on the bench. The third player on the bench is Charles Russell, or what his nickname was known as, which was Boxer. Charles Russell played for the club in the early days, the foundation days. He won the 1910 Grand Final with the club. 
and he coached the club in 1933 to the Premiership over St George. So he gets me third bench spot. And last spot, last but not least, I've gone for Tommy Rodonicus, our Tommy. So I had him in the greatest ever Western Suburbs team, as you can imagine. Check that video out as well. Tommy Rodonicus had a, had a brief career with Newtown. He came to the club after Western Suburbs. He was enticed to join the club by John Singleton, who was the entrepreneur, the owner of the club in the, the 70s and 1980s. He had a, an immediate impact with, with the club. He, he, took, he, he guided Newtown to the, to the grand final, their first grand final in 26 years against Parramatta. I think he scored at the, the opening try of the grand final, but Parramatta stormed home, won the premiership. But in his short spell with Newtown, Tommy had a, a massive impact on the club, and he still does today. You should, if, if you go to Ensign Park and, and watch a game, go to the merchandise stand, and they've got all this Tommy stuff on the shirts, the hats, the, the backpacks, everything. Go check that out. And an honourable mention. So, 18th man, just in case someone gets injured in the warm-up, I've gone for Tom Cake. He won the 1943 Grand Final with Newtown. He played in the backs, so he was a full-back winger. He holds the record for most points in a game for Newtown. And he also was the record point scorer in the competition for about 10-15 to 15 years before he was overtaken by... Bernie Purcell in the 1950s who played for South Sydney and now we come to the coach so there was a few choices to go through the official Newtown team in the century they chose Warren Ryan as their coach who took him to the 1981 grand final but I've chosen Arthur Fulwell he was the head coach of the club in the 1943 season when they won the grand final over North Sydney and he coached them to the 1944 Grand Final loss against Belmeen. He was only at the club for three years, but he had a win percentage of 60%, which I think is quite good. And he gets me spot for coach. So that's my team. That's my greatest ever Newtown team from 1908 to 1983. So if, if you like the video, give us a like. If you really liked it, give us a share. And if you want to see more content or if you're liking the content I'm making, click that subscribe button so you get a notification when I do a new video. I also run Rugby League History on Facebook, so go check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. But anyway, I'll catch you all later. Take care of yourself in this time and I'll see you all soon. Tara.